World Cup pitch invader carries rainbow flag onto grass during Portugal vs Uruguay. A protester carrying a rainbow flag and wearing a Save Ukraine t shirt invaded the pitch of Portugal's World Cup group stage match with Uruguay. The spectator also had the words, Respect for Iranian women, on back of his shirt. A protester carrying a rainbow flag and wearing a Save Ukraine t shirt invaded the pitch of Portugal's World Cup group stage match with Uruguay. The supporter, whose blue top had the Superman logo on the front and the words, Respect Iranian Women, on the back, entered the field of play during the second half. Security officials chased the person down and he dropped the flag on the field before being escorted off the field. The referee then picked up the flag and left it on the sideline, where it stayed for a few moments before a worker came and collected it. The incident comes amid a tournament which has been surrounded by controversy over hosts Qatar's treatment of the LGBTQ community as well as anti government demonstrations in Iran. In the weeks leading up to the tournament, a Human Rights Watch HRW, report claimed security forces in Qatar have been arbitrarily arresting and abusing LGBT Qataris recently. Furthermore, former Qatari footballer Khalid Salma, an ambassador for the World Cup, described homosexuality as damage in the mind. In the first week of the tournament, seven European teams lost the battle to wear multicolored One Love armbands during World Cup matches, with FIFA threatening sporting sanctions such as yellow cards and match bans for the captains who wore them. Some fans also complained they were not allowed to bring items with rainbow colors, a symbol of LGBTQ rights, into the stadiums of the conservative Islamic Emirate. Meanwhile in Iran, Widespread demonstrations have followed the death of Masa Amini, a 22 year old woman who died in the custody of Iran's morality police in September after being detained for alleged violations of the country's strict dress code. Before the tournament began, FIFA president Johnny Infantino told the 32 competing teams to focus on the football amid the controversies.